Welcome to the next in our series of countdown interviews with Joe Bertram, General Manager of Uber Technologies London. This is Sharing TV, brought to you by the people who share. Welcome to Sharing TV, Joe. Thank you. So you know the format. You have five minutes to answer as many questions as possible about Uber. Are you ready to begin? Yep. So you can count us down from five, please, and we'll start the clock. Five, four, three, two, one. What is your background, Joe? Um, so I originally studied physics, and then I've been a management consultant for, for about eight years, uh, both in the UK and overseas. I've actually been overseas for about seven years in Australia, Singapore, Paris, Geneva, Addis Ababa, and South Africa, and then came back to join Uber in September last year. What does Uber do? So Uber is an app on the smartphone that connects riders with drivers of private hire vehicles. So at the touch of a button, um, users can request a car, watch him drive up in the app, um, get past the driver details, his name, his photo, his, his rating. Um, when he arrives, you get in the car, go to wherever you need to go, and at the end of the, end of the journey, you can just get out all the payments handled uh, via your credit card, and at the end, you're asked to give him a rating so that we can make sure we maintain the high standards of quality. When did Uber launch in the UK? Uh, so we've been in the UK since the middle of 2012. Where is the company based? Uh, it's originally based in, in San Francisco, um, and London was the second international city that, that we went to outside of the US. How many people does Uber employ worldwide? Uh, worldwide, we've now got about 600 people, but uh, growing very quickly. What are your immediate objectives here in the UK? Um, so I think I think London has massive potential in, in, in terms of the, the private hire market, so we really want to grow our presence here uh, and give the Uber experience that, that customers in the US are familiar with, where anywhere in San Francisco you can get a car any time of day or night within about three minutes. I'd love to get to that point in, in London. What are the biggest challenges to introducing Uber to the London market? I think London's probably one of the most um, competitive markets in the world. Um, the private hire industry has been established here for quite a long time, um, so there are a number of competitors. Uh, the biggest challenges facing me at the moment since, since I joined middle of last year is really scaling up the business. Um, we're growing very, very quickly, and how do you actually scale the team and, and the business to keep up with that growth? What is the most effective marketing channel that you have with consumers or passengers? So as many of our, our users will have seen, we do almost no um, direct um, advertising and all of our marketing is done by word of mouth, both from social media and then particularly through events and partnerships. Because we believe that once we get you into an Uber car and you experience um, what the service looks like, then you'll want to ride again. Do you think Uber is having a detrimental effect, uh, effect on the traditional taxi industry? No, I don't think so. I think um, we have a huge amount of respect for um, you know, black taxi drivers who've um, earned the knowledge and it's an institution of London. Uh, what Uber wants to bring is really another choice for consumers. I think everyone would probably agree that competition is good for, for the consumer uh, and it ha helps keep the, keep the quality high. Are there any regulatory concerns that you're addressing? Um, no, London's actually one of the uh, most clearly regulated markets that, that Uber operates in and Transport for London has very clear regulations for both the private hire industry and the taxi industry uh, and we have open dialogue with, with TfL and are compliant with all of those, those regulations. On Valentine's Day, Uber delivered red roses on demand. Is this a sign of things to come? We always try to do some fun, kind of quirky promos that, that show off what the Uber technology can do. So we've done um, Valentine's Day roses on demand. In other markets, we've done kittens on, the, on demand. So in the US, you could order kittens to your office to cuddle for, for 15 minutes if that's what you want to do. Um, at Christmas, we did Uber Christmas trees. So you could order your Christmas tree to your house and, and they'd bring it within minutes. Uh, we did skywriting in the US for, uh, for Valentine's Day. So that's definitely something we want to carry on doing and experimenting with the, the power of the technology. What will Uber London look like in three years' time? 
So I, I very much hope that we're, we'll have grown hugely, um, also expanding outside London. Um, I, as I said, I, I would hope that you can get a car within three minutes anywhere in London, any time of day or night. Of course, at the high quality standard we'd expect with Uber, but we'd also love to expand to other UK cities. Um, make sure that you can enjoy the Uber experience in Manchester or any other city uh, in, in the UK. Could you explain the three levels of service that Uber offers? Yes, yeah, so we're trying to offer a portfolio of products for our users, whatever they, whatever their needs might be. So on the highest end, uh, we have Uber Lux. Uh, it's a long wheelbase, S-Class Mercedes, um, suit and tie driver, bottles of water, magazines. Lots of them have TVs or iPads in, maybe Wi-Fi. We'd like to think that this can become the, the highest quality chauffeur service in London. Give us... Then we've got the um, Uber Exec, uh, which is aimed at the, the corporate market, going to meetings, something a little bit more discreet. Uh, it's an S -class, uh, e class uh, Mercedes or, or equivalent. And then finally, um, the best value, sort of lowest cost option, Toyota Prius. Uh, Uber X is a Toyota Prius. Um, still, the quality of service and same user experience as you expect from, from Uber, but typically 30 to 50% cheaper than some of our competition. That's your five minute, Joe. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.